Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to this video. And in this lecture, I will be um, showing you how to add Cisco ASA in to the EVNG. Now, um, so you will have two versions of Cisco ASA. Now one is ASA V, which is the virtual edition. And then you have the old version. Now, why to use the old version? Because in, in 9.15, you will have the licenses in build to use the features like context, which is active active and then clustering. Those features are not uh, available in ACV 9.x. So I would suggest you use 9.15. That is a, uh, I mean, uh, that's a version which is having all the features if you want to um, practice side by side. So uh, yeah, and I'll be providing this uh, document as well, which has all the step-by-step um, um, -step process and the links to download the images. Now, um, I suppose you have installed the EVNG and the EVNG is running in your system. So let's go to the EVNG. As I can see, my EVNG is running on 192.168.1.5. So I will go and access the GUI on the particular um, IP 1.5. Uh, the default username and password is admin and Eve for the GUI and root and Eve for the CLI. So now once I'm inside my EVNG, if I right click and hit on node, you can see the ASA and ACV are not there. It's grayed out. So how to add this? So first thing you need to do is uh, you have to basically um, download the um, ASA files. So this is for the 9.x. You just click on this link. It will take you to the mega drive and just click on download. So this will download the ASA 9.15, which is around 136 MBs. And the second one I want you to download is the um, ACV. So click on the other link. This will take you to the Google Drive. And say, for example, I'll go for the latest one, which is the 9.6. And uh, sorry and I can right click and say download. Okay, now that I am downloading both the images, uh, next thing is uh, you need to um, download the FileZilla or WinSCP. So I'll go and download WinSCP uh, in this case to access the file system of EVNG. I'll say download and this should download the Windows version. And after downloading, I will install this on my system. So this is there and I will go and click on this so that the setup starts, hit on yes. And the setup is here, I accept, next, next, install. So just follow the process, the visit. And then launch WinSCP. Yeah, so you have something like this. Um, just uh, type in the IP address of your EVNG and the username should be root and password is E by default. So you will end up here, double click on this up arrow, go to the folder, which is OPT, then unit labs, then add-ons, then chemo. So this is um, already mentioned here. So if you go, so this is OPT, unit lab, add-ons, chemo, and make a file folder with 9.15 copy and go here and right click and say new directory and name this as 9.15 or you can say 9.15 like this okay okay once that is done now you need to be here now um i need to go to my downloads uh, should be somewhere so see users admin and downloads and i have now I need to wait this, uh, uh, wait for the downloads. I think that is done. If I go here, yeah. So let's add the 9.15, which is this one. I'll right click and zip extract to this one. And also I'll extract this one, zip extract to AC96. Done, now that is done. I will go to the bin SCP. Now I have 9.16 and I will basically drag and drop this file inside the folder that I created. Now this will take some time and wait for the transfer to be completed successfully. Until then, what you can do is you can go here and copy this command, which is the, this one. Now for this, 
uh, if you're doing it through the workstation, it doesn't support a copy paste, I guess. But let's try a root and EVE. And if I say edit, a paste option is there, correct? Paste it. If this doesn't work, then either you have to type or you have to use an SSS client like the, um, say, putty. So use some client like putty and then you can go and put it there. Yeah. So now after this is complete, hit enter. Uh, let's see the upload has been complete. Yeah. So the upload has been completed. Let's hit enter to this command. And again, one more time, up arrow key and enter. Now I'll go to my GUI again, um, which is on my this. Okay. I'll do a refresh just in case. Right click, now node. And now you can see ASA is here. So this is not ACV, this is ASA with all the features. Just hit save. Now, uh, make sure you have installed the uh, client side of EVNG so that everything works smoothly for you. I'll start this. Double click on this. It'll open this in my putty. Okay, now let's in look into the um, ASA. It has booted, yeah. Enable and by default, there is no password. So just hit enter. And if you check the show version, this will give you the version, which is um, basically 9.15. If I go up, so you can see 9.1. And then if you sp hit on space, you can see the license, right? So you have um, active, active enabled. You have a cluster enabled. You have any connect enabled. So this is the best version to practice the lab on. Now, if you want to get your hands on the ACV as well. So you can download the ACV and then again go to this uh, folder. And now ACV has been extracted. So make sure the uh, naming is like this only. So just drag and drop this here. Name of the folder should be same ACV, then dash, then 961. And then you can drag and drop it into the uh, same chemo folder. And wait for this to complete and then go to your VMware and just hit the same um, command again. Let's wait for the copy to complete successfully. Okay, so it's almost done. Now let's go to my um, EVNG VM here. Hit on enter. Up arrow enter. Now, if you want to come out of this, we cannot see the, uh, sometimes you don't see the, um, what do you say, the mouse pointer. You just need to hit on control and alt. It will uh, push you out of this uh, console of uh, VM workstation. Okay. So now that is done. Now I can go to my EVNG, refresh the page again. Now right click node. Now you should see the ACV here and let's add and save it. Now right click and start. And double click on this to open the console um, in the telnet and it will take some time and it will boot, uh, boot the OS. As you can see, this is 9.61 platform of the ACV. You can work with this as well, but for some features like the active active and the cluster, you have would have to use the 9.15 image. So once this is booted, uh, you would see that the uh, license are not active in this version. So let this boot up. You can see the version is 9.6 and it will take some time. It will apply the settings to the platform for the first time it will reboot itself. Uh, and then after the first reboot, you have a ACV ready to use image. Okay, hit enter here. Give it some time. This is the ACV and you can see that your ACA 9.x is already 
running. Yeah, so version, I'll just do a comparison side by side. So if you see on the 9.15, you have all these license activated and on the ASAV, give it some time and it is almost booted. Up. And we can run the same commands here as well and enable and say show version. And now if you check on this, so you can see the difference here right now. So the, the physical interfaces are limited to 10, VLANs limited to 50, um, inside host is fine, but failover is only active standby, not active active. Uh, and then security context you cannot do in the V, but in the 915 you can do it. Uh, career is disabled, which is not an option here, but it's the GPRS here enabled. And then any connect, uh, you have only two pairs there, but here you have 10,000. Uh, I mean, you can see the difference here, right? Um, so that is uh, how it is. And it's now up to you how to, you, how to use the images uh, according to your lab. So that's it for this video. See you in my next video.